This question comes from Alex, who asks, what if the moon was replaced with Jupiter? The answer is, you wouldn't have time to be impressed by the view. What would follow is a very brief, very violent lesson in gravity. Let's imagine it happens instantly. One moment, our familiar moon is in the sky, the next, it's gone, and a colossal, striped giant has taken its place. It would fill our sky, stretching from one horizon to the other. But you'd only have a moment to appreciate it. In the first second, the gravitational effects would begin. Jupiter is over 300 times more massive than Earth, and at the moon's distance, its gravitational pull on us would be immense. Everything on the side of Earth facing Jupiter would suddenly become significantly lighter, while everything on the far side would be pulled away from the Earth's core. The planet itself would be locked in a gravitational vice. But the real problem isn't the pull. It's the difference in pull. This is called a tidal force. We see this with our moon and the oceans, but what Jupiter would do is on another scale entirely. Imagine the Earth not as a solid rock, but as a ball of dough being kneaded. Within the first minute, this kneading would begin. The tidal force wouldn't just create ocean tides thousands of kilometers high, it would create tides in the planet's solid crust. The ground beneath your feet would bulge upwards by several kilometers, causing earthquakes beyond any measurable scale and triggering every volcano on the planet simultaneously. The atmosphere would be stretched and distorted into terrifying winds, and the heat from the friction inside our planet would begin to melt the mantle and crust. Earth would no longer be orbiting its own path around the sun. It would be captured as a new moon of Jupiter, jerked into a new, violent orbit. Within the first hour, we'd encounter the final problem, the Roche limit. The Roche limit is the distance within which a celestial body, held together only by its own gravity, will be disintegrated by the tidal forces of a second, larger body. In short, gravity holds you together, but the tidal force from something huge and close can pull you apart. The Earth, at the moon's distance, would be well inside Jupiter's Roche limit. So, as our planet is being flash-melted from the inside out, the immense tidal forces would begin to peel it apart. The process would be like unraveling a ball of yarn. Chunks of molten crust and mantle would be ripped from the planet and flung into orbit around Jupiter. Even if you somehow survived the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and being pulled into a new orbit, you'd now have to contend with your planet being physically unmade. And just to make things worse, you'd also be flying through Jupiter's intense radiation belts, which would deliver a lethal dose of radiation hundreds of times over, stripping away what's left of the atmosphere and sterilizing any surviving debris. After a few hours, the process would be complete. Where the Earth once was, there would now be a new, glowing hot ring of rock and iron orbiting Jupiter. On the plus side, from Jupiter, the view would be spectacular. And for the first time in its history, the Earth would finally have a ring on it.